In Zechariah chapter 7, this is what God says to the people. Administer true justice. Show mercy and compassion to one another. Do not oppress the widow or the orphan or the immigrant or the poor. Jesus Christ became oppressed and poor so that you could be rich toward God. And the beauty of that will get you out of yourself and make you someone who can do justice. I will never forget walking into Hunter Auditorium in 1994 and seeing Tim on the stage and the sermon and the teaching and the question, it just went straight to my heart sitting in that congregation for the very first time. It was the feeling of, I'm home. I found where I belong. Tim would expound the gospel to us. It always came with practical application to our daily lives. That's what was so transformational. Tim made Jesus beautiful to me. Only Jesus is worth everything. To persevere in a broken world, loving people in the midst of mind-bogglingly difficult situations, that is only possible with gospel hope. Tim had a big heart for the city, and he was always challenging all of us uh, to be generous towards our neighbors in need. He was so excited to see gospel-based organizations flourish across the city. Hope for New York really offered that opportunity for the church to participate in that restoration and renewal of our city. Tim's vision for the city could be characterized by a passage in Jeremiah 29, and that is the exhortation to love the city, pray for the city, seek its welfare, even the parts that we may not like, or the people with whom we may not agree. He helped us to ultimately focus on God. When you're told to take the gospel out of the four walls of the church, the first question that's going to come to mind is, well, what do, you, what do we do? <laughs> People flocked to want to volunteer to do things, and, and I don't think it's a surprise that Hope for New York has grown so extensively over the years to be what it has become today. Tim, through establishing and encouraging Hope for New York, provided ways through funding and volunteers for Crew Inner City and many other ministries to deepen their capacity to serve those in need and also to reach them with the gospel. Tim taught us that the gospel can break down cultural barriers and bind us together. The gospel can transform and revitalize relationships. Hope for New York invests in building the capacity of nonprofits in the front lines in our city. When he would teach me that God's work renewed my heart, renewed your heart, uh, but also renewed our economies, renewed our jobs, renewed the places where we lived, it was imprinted on my soul and it was irresistible to me. Um, and now to be able to be part of that work in the Hope for New York network, I think is something so precious, not just in the practical work that we do, but in the way that people get to see the heart of Jesus every day in action. Without Tim Keller and the Ministry of Redeemer and Hope for New York, I'm not sure that Avail would actually exist. I love the Hope for New York community. That network was set up as collaboration and not competition. I just feel Hope for New York is such an amazing support, not just with prayer and not just with resources, but with wisdom and with capacity building. It's, it's made all the difference. Tim's vision for the city that in the midst of all this brokenness, the church is called to be risen with Christ to be able to be beautiful to the community in brokenness. And I think Hope New York and its work has been an amazing collective of affiliates and work of the city to say, yes, there is darkness in our city, there's brokenness in our city, but there's light that's pushing back against the darkness, as well as beautiful people to speak peace and shalom and flourishing into our neighbors. The three words I would describe to him would be prolific, profound, 
and very personal. Humble, humble, humble. Passionate. Energetic. A good steward. An advocate. God directed. It's not about him. It's about Jesus. Always having Jesus' eyes and Jesus' heart for what's going on. All for Jesus. That's who he was. Tim, thank you for remaining grassroots. You stayed in the city long term and you impacted people like me and others. Tim, thank you for faithfully serving God's word to us and modeling it in your life. You can't even begin to comprehend the scope of your impact on the world. Tim, I want to thank you for demonstrating how much you love Jesus. Tim, I just want to say thank you for following Christ's call. Tim, thank you for being an honest testimony of the beauty of the living God. With your teaching, grace became so real. Tim, I'm incredibly happy for you because I know you have been such a great, faithful, and fruitful servant. I can't explain or even begin to fathom the way God has used you to shape me throughout the years. Thank you for the ways that you love Jesus so fully with all of who you are. Tim, your race is won. Enter into the joy of your salvation. Be lost in wonder, love, and praise, and know we're right behind you.